Typically, a transaction that goes on between a company or a service provided by a company and a client goes like this. If I need you to cut 12 whole logs and I need it by the end of the day, Wednesday, let's put it by 4 p.m. on a Wednesday. And I say, I need you to start on Monday morning at 8 a.m. I don't care how, but just get it done and I'll pay you, let's say $200. And yes, I know 12 logs is easy for $200 and that time, it's not what I'm getting at. The point is, is you have details. You know the start time, you know the end time, the service is you're gonna be cutting logs and the payment is gonna be $200, right? So we've shared some of this transaction. Now in between, there's things like communication and such so that I can stay in touch with you and you can stay in touch with me so that we can know what's being done and how it's being done. Well, can somebody introduce that to Instacart? Because apparently they don't know that concept. Before I get started, I want people to know, in case you don't know, my name is Ash and I'm a gig worker here in Montreal, Quebec. And I do food delivery services for Uber Eats, for DoorDash, for Skip the Dishes, and occasionally I will throw Instacart a bone. And recently, Instacart has been pissing me off with their refer a friend code. What will happen on my side of things, and you lovelies can comment below if you're seeing the exact same thing, my refer a friend notification will come up, up, up on my phone. And I'll go ahead and I click on it. And from there, vamos, it's gone. I can't see nothing within the app. It's as if that person did not exist. But about four or five days later, I will go in the app I'll click on my refer a friend and that person's name will show up with some random date. Not even up to par with when the notification comes in. But sadly, nothing is there. Let me show you what I mean. If you go on your app and you go to the bottom right hand corner, you can see you have that little guy icon. Let's go ahead and click on there. From there, I want you to go ahead and click on refer a friend and earn $500. So we know that much at least. Now for privacy and security to avoid Instacart deactivating me, I am not showing my refer friend on the screen. I can't show it on the screen and I can't put it in my description, but when people ask, I do share it. And here it does say that if you refer a shopper, I'll get 500 if they complete 30 batches in 30 days. Okay, that's reasonable, I can understand that. But let's go ahead and click on refer history, view referral history. Now I'm gonna do something that's probably gonna annoy somebody, but it's not my fault, it's Instacart's fault. But let me go ahead and click on the completed, and yes, everybody's name's blocked out for privacy and security. But let me go and click on the name that says completed and see if I can grab some details. Apparently not. Let's go to the expired, any single one of them. And the only thing I'm doing is annoying you guys by clicking nonstop because there's nothing to click. There's no dates, there's no time, there's no, there's no nothing when it comes to Instacart. So how is Instacart providing a refer a friend program when their program is clearly broken? I think Instacart is lying and scamming us out of our refer a friend, but I wanna know what you think. First of all, if you have an active, cause that's what it'll be listed under, active refer a friend, start doing your tapping and tell me if it gets anywhere and if not, comment below because this is 100% not right of Instacart and this makes it feel like they're stealing our money which is no surprise to me because Instacart is a big fat waste of time 90% of the time. But if I'm gonna be referring people, I wanna see the transaction, I wanna see the start date, I wanna see the end date. Why can't I see how many batches they've completed? I mean, if I'm doing an Uber Eats order and my customer sees me picking up their items, did you know that for every item I pick up on an Uber Eats shop and pay, they get checked off the list? So why can't I get a checklist or anybody else get a checklist saying how many batches have been completed along the way? This way I can keep tabs. That's how a refer a, for, refer a friend program should go. Now I know many refer a friend programs, for example, job employments, you recruit somebody for customer service and you get them in, but I can tell mostly in a system if somebody is still working there and if they're not, I can tell how long they've been there because I'm gonna know their hire dates from the date that I'm referred based on my company. So I get a lot more details than what Instacart wants to provide. But I truly think Instacart is just stealing our money. Once again, if not adding heavy pay to batches ones is enough, now you gotta take it out of us referring people, trying to be the good citizens that some of us are 
just to help out so that we can get some more money and we're not pocketing that. I have been an Instacart shopper for the last year and a half and I only have one completed Instacart shopper refer a friend. Doesn't make sense to me, but it's not the point of if people have completed it or not. It's the fact that Instacart as a company does not provide the details of the services and transactions. I would love to see in the back end system the actual numbers because I would love to see how much they profited from us, but you know, with Instacart, we're never gonna get those details. So I want you lovelies to comment below and let me know if it is an active tab currently. Can you see any details? Definitely, I don't think it's gonna make any a difference making this video, but I wanna bring out more awareness about the things that's going on with Instacart. And I'll catch you lovelies in the next video.